So for this salad, um, first thing I've done is I have uh, boiled the beetroot and diced it and put it in my salad bowl. Next, I'm going to add salad leaves. So now this is kale, uh, beetroot stems and beetroot leaves because beetroot leaves are edible and shouldn't waste that. I've uh, slightly blanched them and then, and then washed it out with uh, cold water to keep the colors. And I've just roughly chopped it to give it a nice uh, rustic look. So on the other side, I'm heating up my cast iron griddle. With, I'm putting some olive oil in there. And I'm going to grill uh, some pineapples as well. I'm just going to use a brush to nicely spread the oil. So along with the olive oil, uh, sorry, olive oil, sorry, along with the pineapple, I'm also going to be, I'm also going to griddle, um, basically toast some pecan nuts so i know some people call it pecan nuts some people call it pecans whatever it might be i'm gonna toast them the oil is pretty hot right now and you can hear the sizzle i'm gonna start putting in pineapple so i've got this pretty thick over here so that doesn't matter i'm gonna grill them and then um cut them again to a bit smaller pieces because it's hard to grill smaller pieces I'm going to grill them first and then cut them into smaller pieces. So these have been grilling for about 5 minutes and my pecans have also toasted. So I'm going to get those out and just going to flip these over and cook them for another 4 to 5 minutes on the other side. Okay, it's been another 5 minutes and look at this. Oh well, it's just pineapple and grill. So I'm going to take it out and um, chop them up. Uh, remember, this is really, really hot. So please don't touch the cast iron pan with your hands. Use a glove. Look at the pineapple. It looks so gorgeous and golden and it smells amazing. And now I'm going to add some more healthy stuff to it. So that's um, sesame seed. Yeah, it's difficult to do this with one hand. Some flax seeds, make the salad super healthy, chia seeds, some freshly created black pepper, and a pinch of salt. In case you're wondering what's that sound in the background, Anand is watching Batman. So I've added some uh, arugula leaves because I feel like arugula leaves brings out the flavor because arugula leaves are bitter and the pineapple and beetroot is obviously sweet. Next is olive oil with a hint of Batman in the background. So in case you're wondering which Batman is Anand watching, he's watching the one with Christian Bale in it because that's his favorite Batman. On the other hand, I'm squeezing some lime, no, some lemon, sorry. And lastly, some feta cheese. Feta cheese is always a nice touch to many salads. Firstly, because it's very crumbly and it doesn't get all um, creamy like goat cheese does. So it holds its shape. Also because it's a good complement to anything that's very sweet in the salad. Like the pineapple or the beetroot. Okay, I'm going to give that a good stir. I should be using a bigger spoon. But... Now I have the spoon in hand. So I'm just going to use this one. Look how pretty and gorgeous it looks. So here's Anand about to taste the salad and give me his feedback. Look at all the ingredients. It looks so fresh and nice. And Anand, what do you think? Some salt is missing. But how's the flavor? Mm. How's the combination? Nice. Do you like the grilled pineapple? Mm. Alright, so it's Anand the proof, people. So I'm finally going to plate up the salad. Let's get a nice, good heap in here. Let's put some feta cheese on top. So a nice dark contrast in color. I'm gonna serve this with some um, fig and walnut bread I picked up from Marks and Spencer's. And um, I like their bread sometimes. Problem is, a lot of their breads don't have like the fresh ones, they don't have the ingredients written on it. Uh, and I really would like, appreciate if they told me what all the ingredients go in. But their breads are pretty good nonetheless. Have a look delicious does this look 